Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be continuing the Rex Unity series. Now, I just want to say this right now, um, if it wasn't clear, this is in no way going to be endorsed by the Rex devs. This is all on my own, and I am, this is no way, the Rex devs had nothing to do with this. Just letting you guys know, all know, and it's not going to be published as request from the Rex devs. But anyways, today we are going to be getting three of the main goals done already and i actually surprised myself at how fast i was able to do this um, i was expecting it to be a lot longer but yeah we're going to be doing the inventory system the mining system and the leaderboard system leaderboard system cuts which that leaves the ore generation layers and saving the layers are kind of set up but ore generation and saving are going to probably take the bulk of the time of this project and then that probably that means that we can definitely get our stretch goals i'm definitely going to go for the stretch goals and then but also that means that i think i'm going to give you guys a little bit of a surprise day we're going to do some modeling today probably um now this is just is uh just a little overview of the episode as all these intros will be just an overview of the video of what to what to expect so the first thing will be the coding and then we some do some modeling maybe some pickaxe modeling and some, maybe even some ore texturing could be something. Um, so yeah, most of these videos would be set up like that where it's gonna be coding first, it's usually coding is gonna be first and then it's gonna be modeling and whatever whatever else is after that, sprite work, UI work, all that stuff. So yeah, that's basically how it's gonna be. Yeah, thank you guys all for watching. Also, before I end it off, I have a little bit of a treat for you guys. If you become a member right now, you will have the opportunity to make an ore in the game. Now, this is very early right now, but what it's gonna be is gonna be a Google form that you have to fill out, basically just telling me, uh, making sure, verifying that you're an actual channel member and giving me the details of what your ore wants to be, and that's it. So, it's only 99 cents. It's a huge way of supporting me, and you'll even get your own special little ore in the game. So yeah, consider it. And also one day early access to all, all my videos. This is not just a series, it's all my videos. Yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the coding. Hey guys, welcome to the coding bit. Today we are gonna be doing the inventory leaderboard and mining system. And we're also gonna do some modeling here after the coding. Now, um, I've sped this all up because surprisingly, Watching somebody code is very boring and monotonous, especially if it's at 100% um, speed. So this is speed is set up by 1000% and there's, for the two of you guys that actually understand what probably go is going on, you're probably going like, I know what that is, that is cool. Um, but for the rest of you guys, yeah, it's just a bunch of nonsense code. It, it really doesn't matter, kinda, but it just, it just allows me to mine due to leaderboard and inventory system. Now, I believe what I'm doing right now is that I am making, I'm kind of doing numerous things out right now. I'm doing the inventory and the ore destroying, which mining, I, I call it ore destroy because that's kind of what it is. You're destroying ore instead of mining. It would make more sense to me if it's called ore destroy because that's what it is. And basically what's happening is that I just, when I'm, Right now, right as soon as when I actually hover over the ore, it's I want it to, I want the ore to highlight white, just so you get some feedback saying, oh yeah, I'm hover over this ore. It's kind of like how in a Rex, how it highlights and does like a white outline there. Um, yeah, that's kind of what I'm doing right now. And you're gonna see a couple fails here of um, some errors that are happening you guys can't see the console because that's blocked out by the rex view so you guys don't get to see my errors which are 
pretty, pretty nice. But as you can see, I am doing that right now. Don't mind the scene view. The scene view is you're never going to see that. It's going to be very, uh, very nice. Very nice. But yeah, as you can see, that's working. Now we're heading on making the inventory UI so you at least know that when you mine ore, that it's actually going to, you know, show up in your inventory because you kind of want that. Um, so I'm just making an example UI so I can use that as a kind of a prefab almost. But yeah, here's a code that's going to be used to for the Orsroy. It's kind of just, I, sorry, I coded it off screen and then now you're just going to see me write one line that basically makes it all work. And as you can tell, you mine it, it goes straight into your inventory. Um, all ores are a scriptable object that for some reason, Unity really does not like. It's very glitchy. Unity is very glitchy with scriptable objects in this version of Unity. Um, I'm not sure why. And also, I added materials to the iron to, for the ore, so it's like, and I'm making iron and quartz. Now, I did that off screen again, but all it is is just I made a new material, and then all of a sudden, I just added a uh, color to them, and then I applied them. That's basically it. You're gonna actually see me make the textures here soon for those two ores. Also, you can saw with the quartz, it kind of doesn't highlight white. It kind of just gets clearer. So I'd have to fix that, but it's probably not going to be highlighting white um, in the final game because that's kind of weird. But anyways, we're back. We're done with that. And woohoo, we're on modeling as something that's actually interesting for you to watch. Um, I am using Maya. Um, not I could use Blender. Uh, I personally know Maya more and Blender is not really industry standard with that stuff. It's usually Maya that's being used. But as you can see, I'm making the, the pickaxe handle right now. Just make sure that's a good topology. Um, yeah, because making this type of stuff, you want to make sure that there are no polygons. Well, no, not polygons. No end guns or triangles. Now, you might be wondering why no triangles if you know anything about game development, because in every game, it's all about the triangles. Well, Funnily enough, in modeling, triangles are not your friend. They do not work very well uh, with modeling. So what we do is that we make them in quads and then we have the program convert them to triangles. And if you have triangles and you try to convert it to triangles, it's gonna give you a bunch of weird errors. And also, oh yeah, also, I also did not record myself making the actual pickaxe bit. Yeah, love that. Um, but as you can tell, I'm now UV UV editing it, which is, if you're thinking about UV editing, all it is really is just, if you have a cube, you know how you see it when it's unfolded, it's like six sides. And if you could fold it, fold it, it makes that cube. That's kind of what UV editing is, is that if you fold, in theory, if you print this, print this out on a piece of paper, you can fold it into the actual shape. Now, of course, that'd be really hard with the, the complex shapes right here. And you can tell um, that I'm trying to make them as simple as possible. Because if you have, if you just like kind of just unfold it and just have it no like cuts anywhere where you can actually unfold it from, it's going to give you a bunch of smoothing errors, stretching, sorry, smooth, not smoothing, stretching, because it's going to be hard for that to unfold. But as you can tell, I'm just unfolding these. And uh, I would say, I don't know, that was a little bit of a weird thing that I did, but as you can tell, there's like the red and blue, you don't want that on your model. You want it to be very much um, as white as possible or gray, whatever color, so that when you make the textures for it, the, the actual textures, they don't stretch and they look um, pretty nice, actually. That's yeah, but yeah, this is basically just UV editing and also, the reason why we do use quads in uh, modeling is that it's a lot easier to model with. Uh, triangles are a nightmare to model with. So we like quads. Um, games like triangles because they're more performant. And I do that. So I just convert them all to triangles. That's all you do. And as you can tell, it's that's the pickaxe. And you're going to see here in a bit that I forgot to um, record myself putting the color ID on, which color ID it just basically tells Painter which I use for um, texturing, as you can see right here. Tells Painter where materials go. So right now I'm basically, I bake the models and I put, there's red and, and yellow. Yellow is for the wood, red is for the metal, the iron bit. So basically I just go in a Painter and then I 
I mess up a bit because I forgot to hold control while playing, placing the material down. So I just basically put a wood in, hold control, bam, the wood's just there. And also I did with the iron too. Um, and then I basically just, I, I feel like this is pretty good. It's a little um, low poly, but for a game like this, that's completely A-OK -okay because smoothing it to make it um, more high poly will add sometimes thousands of polygons that are really unnecessary. You want to be as low poly as possible without, with it also still looking good because performance is key in games. So as you can tell, I'm just uh, basically doing that. And now we're getting into the ores. I need to make some ores. I'm going to make a 512 mask. As you can tell, that also goes into UV. You know how there's there's six sides right there. If you fold that up, that'll make a perfect cube. Um, that's kind of how UV works. And right now I'm making iron. Um, I'm not using any reference or something. So if this is not accurate to actual iron, I'm sorry. I don't know how actual iron ore looks like. I could have looked it up, but I was like, this looks good enough. <laughs> And I'm more going for a more realistic look to the ores and pickaxes instead of Rex's more cartoony look um, to make it a little different. Because, because making realistic stuff is a lot easier in games than cartoony stuff. Um, I found out. <laughs> so, there's that. Yeah, as you can tell, I just made the iron. I exported it. And now we're making quartz, which uh, is just glass. That's all it is. It's glass with some less reflectiveness. It's, it's all quartz is. I'll do the transparency and stuff in Unity itself because you can't really do that in Painter. Uh, Painter doesn't really have any transparency. And as you can tell, I forgot to show you guys uh, putting the materials on and also putting pickaxe in there and also the leaderboard. It's there. Wow. And also, don't mind that. That's just a Unity um, visual error. But yeah, this is part two done. We have everything that's necessary. We made a leaderboard, we made inventory. We made mining. Now the next time, which is probably gonna be a live stream tomorrow, uh, tomorrow at the 11, 12, November 12th, yeah, I'm planning on going live and actually doing part three live. Um, and for that, I'm gonna be using, I'm gonna be doing ore generation, maybe layers, and probably gonna do some more modeling, mostly modeling. Um, I think modeling is really fun and I was honestly getting mesmerized just looking at my modeling when I was coding I was like god get the hell get, get, get this over with and I was looking at the model I was like that's nice that, that looks nice so yeah um, thank you guys all for watching this is the second episode of the Rex series um, yeah uh, please consider being a member it really does support me and also yeah tune into the live stream tomorrow if you guys want to see I'm also probably going to be editing that VOD and making it its own part as well. Um, yeah, members get a one day early access. Also, if you're a member, you get a free, you get a, to make your own ore in the game that I'm making right now, which I think that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so how that's gonna work is that you send me your Discord username um, and I DM you basically saying, hey, what do you want your ore to be like? And I'll work with you personally, make sure that ore is to your liking. But yeah, thank you guys all for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye now.